Hello, I'm Mark Zayden, and this is a PowerPoint presentation on how to use stadia hairs on a surveying instrument to measure distances. First, I will explain how to read a surveying rod. This is a surveying rod. The large red numbers indicate feet. Some rods have an occasional small red number that also indicates feet. If the rod is close to the instrument, you might not be able to see the large red numbers, so these smaller numbers are helpful to know the number of feet. The black numbers are tenths of a foot. At first they might appear to be inches, but notice there are only nine numbers. There are ten black and white lines between the black numbers. There appear to be only black lines because of the white background, but you must consider the white lines as well as the black lines. These are one hundredths of a foot. Let's take a closer look at the rod. Notice the small red two, meaning that we are above two feet. The crosshair is on the top of the black line that points to the black number seven. Notice that this black line is pointed upward on the right end of the line. This is 2.70, or 2 feet 70 hundredths of a foot. I should point out here that the top of the black lines are even one hundredths of a foot. Going down, we have 2.69. This is the bottom of the black line, or the top of the white line. The bottoms of the black lines are odd numbers. Continuing downward, we have 2.68, 2.67, 2.75, 2.76, and 2.65 feet. Here it is important to notice that we again have a point at the right end of the black line. This time the point is downward. This is the five hundredths line, or in this case two feet sixty-five hundredths of a foot. Moving further downward we have 2.64, 2.63, 2.62, 2.63, and 2.60. At 2.60 we again find an upward point indicating tenths of a foot. Again remember that the top of the black lines are even hundredths of a foot and the bottoms of the black lines are odd hundredths of a foot. So let's take a look at the stadia hairs. In the middle of the picture we find a horizontal crosshair. We do not use this line to measure distance. Notice that at the top and bottom of the picture we find two shorter horizontal lines. These are the stadia hairs that we will be using. The top stadia hair is above the red 3 and also above the black 2. This is 3.2 feet. We are at the bottom of the second black line above the 2 and this is another 3 hundredths. So the top stadia hair is 3.23 feet. The bottom stadia hair is below the red 3 and above the black 9, so 2.9 feet. We are just below the pointed line, that is the 5 hundredths line, and we are at the top of the black line, so this is the 4 hundredths line. So the bottom stadia hair is 2.94 feet. Now we subtract the lower stadia hair reading from the top stadia hair reading and we get 0.29. Multiply this times 100 and we get 29 feet. Therefore the rod is 29 feet from the instrument. Here's a second example. First notice that the rod appears to be smaller so we know that it is further from the instrument than the first example. The top stadia hair is 4.25 feet. The bottom stadia hair is 3.79 feet. Subtract and multiply by 100 and we find that the rod is 46 feet from the instrument. Stadia hair readings are accurate to the nearest foot. On D2L you will find a PowerPoint presentation called Stadia Hair Practice. I encourage you to review that presentation for more practice using the stadia hair. This is Mark Zeiden, and that is how to use stadia hairs on a surveying instrument to measure distances.